day, mortals. It is I, Pixie, here. And today we are playing a bit of an older game. But I think it has survived the ages fairly well. The Elder Scrolls V. Skyrim, ladies and gentlemen. So I've been wanting to do a Skyrim playthrough for a while now, but I've never really got around to it. Don't know why. I mean, I tried a few months ago, but it kept crashing because of the mods I had installed. So this is a clean version, no mods. But uh, we'll be adding mods as we go, perhaps. We have the uh, hey, Dawn Guard, you. Hearthfire, and Dragonborn you DLCs installed. The border, right? Yeah, I was. Right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. Yeah. That thief over there. That's <laughs> the stupid Damn thief. Storm cloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, they could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me, we shouldn't be here. I know. Like storm cloaks the Empire wants. But don't do something stupid and We're run. Brothers and sisters You'll get shot for that. You're running. Now oh, you shut up up there. Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they've captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be in home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. So we are playing a Skyrim Special Edition. Lord. So... General Tully is the military governor, and it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. So, uh, the graphics should be a bit better because this is a uh, special edition. I, ha I got it free because it was... I used to be sweet on a girl from here. wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. I'm sure it's very tasty. Funny. When I was a boy... Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Your hair looks different, I think. Let's go inside. I might just be me, but I think the hair right. looks different. I want to watch the soldiers. No, go inside. Someone's impatient. Why are we stopping? So I got this game free with uh, the original Skyrim when the special edition came out. It does look different, doesn't it? Your face looks different. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for I us. think... Yeah. Oh, wait, it, it, everything's a bit more defined. Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them. We worked with you. This is a mistake. Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time. Empire loves their damn list. What were you standing on? Ulfric Stormcloak. Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. No care of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! I noticed that they're not calling out. Hold on, I told you not to run! Oh, you dummy. You there. Step forward. Me? Hi, what's up? How's it going? Who are you? My name is Pixie. So, for this playthrough, I wanted to do it UHC. Ultimate Hardcore. So that means if we die, we're done. No respawns, no second chances. So that's a big deal here. Uh, if we die, that's it. So we're not coming back. So we need to pick carefully. Everything we do needs to be angled towards survival. 
So let's go through the races and just read off the descriptions. Uh, the reptilian race, well suited for treacherous swamps for their black marsh homeland, have developed this natural resistance to diseases and the ability to breathe underwater. They can call upon the hiss skin to regenerate health very quickly. So that that's a very serious poss possibility because if we need to get health and run, these guys might be our best options. In the addition to their quick and perceptive grasp of spellcraft, even the humblest of High Rock's Bretons can boast a resistance to magic. Bretons can call upon dragon skin power to absorb spells. Might be handy for flying spellcasters. Also known as Dunmer in their homeland of Morrowind, Dark Elves are noted for their stealth and magical skills. I'm thinking I want to be an illusion casting person. Because I think if I can avoid fighting and get other people to fight for me... Huh? Who, who's got a good idea? Me? Maybe? Maybe not? Me? No? Okay. We'll see how that plays out. They are naturally resistant to fire and can call upon their ancestors' wrath to surround themselves in fire. Also known as Ultima in their homeland of, Su of the Somerset Isle, the High Elves are most strongly gifted in arcane arts of all the races. They can call upon their high one power to regenerate magicka very quickly. So perhaps this would be an option. Uh, being able to regenerate magicka would definitely be a benefit, and they do start with some extra magic, I think. Natives of Cyrodiil, they have proved uh, to be shrewd diplomats and traders. They are skilled in combat and magic. Anywhere gold coins might be found, Imperials always seem to find a few more. They can call upon the voice of the Emperor to calm an enemy. So that could be a big asset, being able to just calm down your enemies, maybe run away from combat if you're overwhelmed. I mean, I think it's a minute that that works for, so we have 60 seconds to cast a spell and get out. So this is another very high probability one. Actually, which ones have been high probability? Argonian, Dark Elf, High Elf, and Imperial so far. So that's all but the Bretons, I think. Yeah, uh, absorb spells. Mm, probably not. And now the Khajiit. Hailing from the province of elsewhere, they are intelligent, quick, and agile. They make excellent thieves due to their natural stealthiness. All Khajiit can see in the dark and will have unarmed claw attacks. So probably not. Doesn't have the survivability that we would want to uh, we'd want to see in our character. The Nords are the citizens of Skyrim. They are tall and fair-haired people, strong and hardy. Nords are famous for their resistance to cold and their talent as warriors. They can use battle cry to make opponents flee. Now here's another good one. If we can make our opponents flee, we don't have to fight them. And we can also run away while they're fleeing the opposite way. That's double the distance in the same amount of time. Orcs, the people of the... Rothgarian and Dragontail Mountains. Orcish smiths are prized for their craftsmanship. Orc troops in heavy armor are among the finest in the Empire and are fearsome when using their Berserker Rage, which I think doubles damage and halves, doubles our damage and halves the damage we take. So that's another big one. Orcs are possible. The most naturally talented warriors in Tamriel, the Red Guards of Hammerfell, have a hardy constitution and a natural resistance to poison. They can call upon adrenaline rush in combat, which regenerates uh, stamina, which might be helpful if we want to run. You know, this seems to be a common theme among all of them. The clan folk of the Western Valen Woods Forest, also known as Bosmer, Wood Elves make good scouts and thieves, and are no finer archers in all of Tamriel. They have natural resistances to both poisons and diseases, and they can command animals to fight for them. <clears throat> so, I'm actually going to need to think about this for a bit. Okay, mortals, I have settled on the Orc. Why the Orc? Well, let's go through the list. I've played as Argonian. Bretons do not interest me. I've played as... Have I played as Dark Elves? Yes, I have. Well, I don't really remember it. Huh. I've played as High Elves almost constantly because I love the magic and everything. Uh, I've played as Imperial a few times. I've played as Khajiit. I uh, never played as a Nord, but their, their bonuses they get don't really interest me. I've never played as an Orc or a Red Guard. And the Wood Elves I've played as a few times. So I want to mix this up a little bit. We're going to be the Orc. Right. 
right, right, I need to click up here. So the reason I'm going for the Orc and not the Red Guard is because I want the uh, double damage and half damage. Double our damage, half their damage. So let's be a girl orc. Should we be a female orc? Let's be a female orc. I like being girls in games. Hmm. We'll start with you, skin tone. That one. Wait, we'll put you around the middle. Complexion. Let's do that one, nice and smooth. I want us to be a pretty orc. In the words of Murder McStabface, I'm the prettiest. That's a reference that no one's gonna get. I want some scarring, some light scarring. War paint. Hmm. I think I'll go without the war paint. Let's get a better look at these scars. That one. Now onto the face, nose type. I think we'll take that one. Nose height. Nose length. Turn it to the side, please. Hmm. Probably there. Jaw. Right there. Jaw height. Draw forward. Cheekbones. I want some sharp cheekbones. Yes. Cheek color. Let's just go with the default. Mm-hmm. Cheek color, lower, no. Nose color, chin color, neck color, forehead color. Now I'll just skip all those. Eye shape. I think that one, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I like that blue. Let's go for the blue. I height. Mm, lower it a bit. No. Yeah, there. I width. Looks fine. I like that. Actually, what happens if I bring it forward? Send it back. Turn sideways. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. Eyeliner? No, we don't want eyeliner. We're pretty as it is. Actually, something could be set for the red. We're gonna go red. I like the red. It's pretty. 
Sprout type. Mm hmm. I think that one. And I'm fairly happy with everything else. Just going to experiment with brow forward. There. Mouth. <laughs> Look at the things. Oh, that, that's actually quite terrifying. I'm going to stick with that one. Now, height looks good. Forward, good. Chin width, I'm happy. Length, don't see anything wrong with it. Yeah, you're very pretty. <laughs> Lip color. I'm going to stick with the original. And onto the hair. <laughs> Lots of updos I'm noticing. I think I like this one. And the hair color, we're probably going to stick with black, aren't we? Hmm. Yeah. Not many others work on you. Black it is. Prisoner name. Okay, button. There. We'll name you. Hmm. What should we name her? Serena. That's a nice name, isn't it? There's also a nod to a previous series I did. If anyone remembers that. You probably don't, it didn't do very well. All right. You from one of the strongholds, Zork. How did you end up here? Captain, what should we do? She's not on the list. Forget the list. She goes to the block. Oi! That's Are racist. Us, Captain? I'm sorry. We'll make sure your remains are turned to us, senior. Follow the captain, prisoner. I'll follow the racist captain. You don't like me just because I'm an orc. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero. But a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war. Plunged Skyrim into chaos. And now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. Nothing. Carry on. I think it was a dragon. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Ethereus, blessings of the eight divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. Our As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? Why were you so eager to die? You Imperial bastards! Justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the Orc! Racism. Dragon! Here it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner! To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. Why do I have to die just because the captain's a racist? It's not fair. I know this, is this whole stigma against orcs, because we're generally not considered very smart, but I think that dragon... 
Dragon. It's a dragon. Look, look out behind you. I said that like five times. Ah, these people need to learn to listen. Come on, let's go! Hi, I think my hands are bound. How oh, how are your hands not bound? What is that thing? Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. Get some scarring too. We need to move now. Your face is definitely more defined. Uh, are they gonna be okay? Uh, do you need a doctor? You know, I've studied some basic first aid back in uh, or or Syrian or ah! I love this bit. The dragon bursts through the wall. It's like ah! I knew that was gonna happen. I was just acting surprised. How do we get off this building? But that's dangerous. I could take damage unless I land on that post. Oh! Oh, no, I landed in the fire. That's not much better. Uh, hide. Uh, for now. Okay. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. God's guide you, Admiral. All right. The fire, I think, looks better. I I don't have much memory of how fire looked in the original game, but I I never got this bit. It's Hagar, Hadvar, Hadvar, Hagar, Hadvar. Whatever his name is, had sliced the dragon's wing a bit there. It would have been a fairly critical blow because the dragon wouldn't be able to fly. See, he would be doing that. He would definitely be favoring one wing over the other. Hi there. Hey, um, could we take her with us? Like leaving a bleeding civilian there. That's not very nice. Oh! Oh! Well, I've never seen that happen before. Uh, now here's the part of the game I always struggle with. Do I go with the guy who tried to save me but then abandoned me, or do I go with the guy that tried to kill me and then save me? Like, it's not really a cut and dry choice. It's not black and white. There's lots of grey area here. Well, do I go for the barracks or do I go through there? Alright. I'll go with you, because you're a handsome bastard. Well, I guess Rayloff is also handsome. Handsome bastards everywhere. Oh! I'm with you! Yes. Yes. We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Sure thing. I think the armor also looks a bit there different. Take a look around. The metal's a bit shinier. I'm going to see if I can find something for these bones. I'll read that later. Got to be a sword or two in one of these chests. Look around. Not any of those chests. But in this chest, I will. Yes. Oh, just to be clear, did I equip that or? Got it. You better get some gear. Right, gear. I'll take the light armor, the sword, the boots, and the key. You gotta get that armor off. Give that sword a few swings too. Let's keep moving. That thing is still out there. I'm gonna take the sword with me. All the swords. And these are for the road. Uh, 
Uh, I actually magic, magic first, destruction and restoration. We have flames. Oh, and we have healing. I'm gonna favor both of those. And I'll equip those in my right hand. And in my left. Weapons, iron sword. Mm hmm. Alright. Oh. Uh, I, that, that's actually backwards from what I wanted. Just a moment. What the? No, I don't want... Hold on, I need, I need to play in the options. Okay, this should work. Sword, right hand. There we go, magic. Destruction. Flames in left hand. Perfect. Why is that? Hold on. Sorry, sprinting isn't working. Sprint is alt. Why sprint alt? Sprint is now shift. Running is now alt. What? Hear that? Storm cloaks. Maybe we can reason with them. Mm-hmm. Reasoning is good. Talk first. Always diplomacy first. Hold up. If you want to die, so Oh, game freeze. Mm hmm. I'll take the shield. And the armor. And the boots. I'll take those. I'll take that. Let me see if I can get that door open. Take that, 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 that. I'll take that and that. And the lantern. And the broom. Anything else? Nope, Let's we're good. Go. Always make sure you have enough things to supply yourself with for the long voyage home. Alright, had uh, have uh, had had got had Hadvar, as it says right there. Press M1 to block. I don't think that's gonna work. What does M2? But that did not work. And I almost torched you. Hello friends! Goodbye, friends. There we go. Take all. An old storeroom. Find some potions. Absolutely. And some wine. And the chairs. Oh, you can't take chairs, but you can sit in them, which is nice. Oh, Hadvar. Care to join me? There's a candle here. It's very romantic. Hadvar, sweetheart. Romantic candle. Hadva, candle, romantic. Ah, men and baskets and rabbits, pheasants, all, all the good stuff, really. A bit of bread. Take these. The pot. Where's the kitchen sink? We need that too.
Minor healing three, magicka one, my stamina one. We need all of it. Especially these baskets. And the buckets. The market for baskets and buckets and general containers is booming right now. There's a shortage out there. Oh! And there were eggs. I didn't even see what kind. Alright. I think so. Although you missed the candle. You know, we could have sat there, had a nice meal. There was wine. But you weren't interested, I suppose. Oh! Burn, baby, burn. Just going burn, oh, burn, baby, burn. Torture's assistant, sorry we didn't get you faster. Oh, I'm already, I'm already carrying too much to run. This has never happened before. I never loaded up on so much that I didn't need. Uh, let's drop the miscellaneous. Uh, we're keeping the baskets. Broom. Uh, there's not much of a market for brooms. Pots, more pots, charcoal, kettle, lanterns, tankards, bowls. Oh hell, we'll get rid of the baskets too. This is the richest dead man ever. We're going to take his armor. Six fur boots! Oh no, that's me. <laughs> that's that's the stuff I've already collected. <laughs> I was wondering why why does this guy carrying around six fur boots? How many boots does one man need? Oh, it's a woman actually. I couldn't tell with the clothes. Look at how I've been entertaining their comrades. Book the Dragonborn. I wonder if this is like a uh, foreshadowing or anything. Probably not, no. No relevance to us. Even know what's going on? A dragon is attacking Helgen. Bam, baby, bam. A dragon. Please, don't make up nonsense. I think this is the part where the torturer's assistant would normally say something. But he's dead because we got here too late. Now, as I said before, I want to be a very magical person, so, hood and robes. It's coming from over there. Come with us. We need to get out of here. You have no authority over me, boy. Didn't you hear me? I said the keep is under attack. Sure. Take all my Grab what you can and let's go. Hmm. Can I afford to take this in the shield? Nope, I cannot. I'll need to drop something. Uh, maybe the shield. I'll look through uh, miscellaneous first. What have I picked up? Just lockpicks. No. Apparel. The shields are going to weigh a ton. There we are. All's better. Alright, Hadvar. Let's go. There's no way out that oh, there, there's no way out? Is that what he just said? Ha! Huh. He doesn't know us, Hadvar. Which is to say, lucky. Very lucky. What's this? That's like a branch or something. Why did that skeleton have so much gold, and why had no one collected it? I mean, it's a skeleton with no clothes, so everything must have decayed over the course of a few centuries. Skeleton, bone meal, soldier, no. 
I mean, that skeleton would have had that for a very long time, wouldn't it? I agree. Hmm. Where in oblivion are we supposed to go? Where's oh! The way out? It sounds like there are more Imperial soldiers over here. They must all be friendly. Nope, there's no cloaks. Oh! Oh, where's the, where's the back? Let's run. Sprint. Alt. Alt's now running. Burn, baby, burn! Disco Inferno. Burn, baby. Step in, step in the fire for me. Hmm. Let's take the arrows. And, oh. We've only... <laughs> I've never picked up so much that I cannot carry anything. Not this early. I mean, I, I've done it, obviously. But never this soon. Alright, so that gives us about 100 pounds to work with. Let's see, I want some more arrows. Oh! That was everything. Yeah, I'll drop something if I need to. Let's see where this goes. Yes, it goes to freedom, Hadva. Freedom awaits us. Come on. I sure hope nothing falls to block our path. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, actually, whoa! That that, that was incredibly stupid of me. Why would I do that? Ah, oh, it's UHC, guys. I, if I if I die, that's it. We're done. I I can't just attack with reckless disabandonment like I normally do. Was it reckless disabandonment? I think it's reckless abandonment. Is that even a thing? What am I thinking of? Compass. Uh, well, no, but... Try this way. Well, yeah. This is one thing I never understood. This is clearly a dead end. It never went anywhere. Unless you, like, squeeze down and crawl, which maybe it might, I don't know. But this way is obviously the only way to go. I'm not even sure why he stopped to talk about it. Now, let's get out the bow. Throughout all of my playthroughs... I've always favored. I just dropped one. I've always favored bows. Don't ask me why. I think it's just the range. I always like range. Boom! My first shot with a bow is a slow mo. Don't worry, Hadva. I've got your back from way over here. What next? Giant Don't jinx it. Someone's probably got a mod for that. I can almost guarantee that someone's made a mod for giant snakes. I'm just going to spend some time collecting spider eggs. Just don't mind me. Oh, and also, oh, oh, I touched it. Uh, gross. Oh, what did I trip on? It's probably one of these skeletons. Better stick together down here. 
Absolutely, Hadvar. I was just gathering eggs. Oh, potion. Hold up. There's a bear just ahead. See her? Mm hmm. I'd rather not tangle with her right now. Don't worry, it's just a tutorial. Just take it nice and slow and watch where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take it by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. Hadva, it's the tutorial. We've got this. That's how it's done, Hadva. That's how it's done indeed. Did you notice how I killed the bear? Iron helmet. Oh, no, 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 no! Damn it. There's nothing worse than a wet coin purse. Actually, there is a coin purse which you cannot reach. Those are the worst. There we are. I don't think I've ever done that with two arrows before. Like yes, Hadvar, it does look like the way out. Uh, you can tell because just before you enter this little thing that says to Skyrim. You need to learn to read things, Hadvar. like he's gone for good this time but I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back no I don't think so closest town from here is Riverwood my uncle's the blacksmith there I'm sure he'd help you out it's probably best if we split up good luck I wouldn't have made it without your help today look you say we should split up but I want to stick with you a little while but before we keep going I'm gonna say good night mortals I'm going to say good night and I hope you all enjoyed. And I can't wait until next time where we will be. You should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. Maybe, maybe not. If the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. Well, you know, I might be able to. But until next time, mortals, I hope you all enjoyed. And good night. See that ruin up there? Bleak hmm? Falls Barrow. Yeah. When I was a boy, that place always used to give me nightmares. Draugr creeping down the mountain to climb through my window at night. That kind of thing. I admit, I still don't much like the look of it.